All things Nuggets. What's up, basketball fans? Welcome into today's live mailbag where I'm answering all of your questions. So everything you want to ask, anything you want to ask, we're going to talk about it on today's show. Luke Tops Don Zingis, I love the name, very clever, says, is Rudy Gobert to the Mavs actually a thing? So talk about Rudy Gobert here again. I, listen, every year it's thrown out. Every The past three offseason it's been, hey, are they going to go out and get Rudy Gobert? Guys, the answer is no. Rudy Gobert is going to be a free agent next offseason. He's eligible for the Supermax with the Utah Jazz. If he gets traded anywhere, it's probably because he thinks he's going to get the Supermax from that team. And then you got to ask yourselves, are the, are the Dallas Mavericks actually willing to commit $70 million combined per year to two seven-footers in Rudy Gobert and Kristaps Porzingis? And the answer is no. Is Rudy Gobert a great rim protector? Yes. Is he an incredible player? Is he an all-star level player? Absolutely. Do I think he's one of the best defenders in the NBA? Potentially the best rim protector in the NBA? 100%. The problem is he doesn't fit this Mavericks team. And you can't pay two seven-footers that much money. So is it actually a thing? Apparently they're talking, like there's teams talking about it. Not the Jazz, not the Mavs, just two, just teams in general talking. Um, so no, I don't think it's actually a thing, but we'll keep you updated with it on all things Mavs. So if Luke Tops Don Zingas wants to keep up with all things Mavs, go subscribe today to youtube.com slash guess what? All things Mavs. That link's going to be in the comments and in the description. Make sure you subscribe today. And we're going to stick with the Mavs questions here from Ryan Vasquez. Jay Crowder and Goran Dragic to the Mavs. Please. I, I think Jay, I think Jay Crowder um, is less likely at this point because I do think he goes back to the Miami Heat. There's been a lot of talk between him and the Heat about going back for him uh, or about him returning back to South Beach. I think he'll stay. There have been whispers about Goran Dragic wanting to play with his mentor I guess is what you would call Luka Doncic. Um, and I think that's very possible. But I wouldn't give Goran Dragic more than a one-year deal. I'd sign him for a big one-year deal, give him like 10 plus million, but I wouldn't sign him beyond that. Give him one year and then see if he wants to come back after that. Let's go to Paul Christian talking about a Mavs draft question. Can the Mavs trade up for Devin Vassell of Florida State? Man, I think that's the dream for the Mavs. We know they want to trade into the lottery. I know that they want to package 18 and 31 and try to move up to the lottery. But if you're going to get Vassell, I think you got to get top 10. And when you're looking at the top 10, you got to look at teams like, or top 12, excuse me, not 10. Uh, the Sacramento Kings, are they willing to trade down to get two picks? The San Antonio Spurs, are they willing to trade down and get two picks and potentially some players? I think you could do it potentially with the Kings at 12. I think that's possible, and I think that's right around Devin Vassell's range. But you got to trade 18, you got to trade 31, and you got to give up some kind of player. I'm not sure that's going to be, but. I know the Mavs would love Devin Vassell. I know I would love Devin Vassell, Devin Vassell on this Mavs team. You know what else I love? Potentially getting back into NBA stadiums. And when we get there, we're going to have to be wearing these masks. I know it stinks, but you got to do it. Go to chatsports.com slash NBA mask. Get any of these awesome styles. They update them every single week. They give you new styles anytime. So chatsports.com slash NBA mask. Get one, two packs of three or packs of four. My favorite thing, they're machine washable. You got to wear one every day, throw it in the wash, get up the next morning, it's clean, smells fresh, and you don't get your stanky breath in your uh, in your mask all the time. So chatsports.com slash NBA mask. Clayton Boatman says, let me guess, Christian Wood going to the Mavs? That's not my prediction for Christian Wood. Uh, I don't think the Mavs will end up signing him. Would I love for the Mavs to try to go out and get him? Yeah, I think it'd be a, a perfect fit there. But I, I don't think they're going to because he's a big man and – just kind of redundant with Chris Ops Porzingis. I think off the bench he would be perfect for that Mavericks team, but I think he's going to go somewhere else. I don't think the Mavs are going to offer the kind of money that Christian Wood is looking to get. But good question, Clayton. No, he ain't going to Dallas. Rogue Brothers coming in with the Super Chat. Says Mavs trade Dwight Powell, DeLon Wright, Justin Jackson, and Maxi Kleba, and their first-round pick for Wiggins in the number two pick. I hate to break it to you, but that is not enough for Wiggins in the number two pick. Um... I think the Mavs would probably say yes. I know I would say yes from the Dallas Mavericks because I like Dwight Powell. Listen, I like all the role players on the Dallas Mavericks, but if you're a Dallas Mavericks fan, you know this better than anyone. Mavs overvalue their own role players. The Warriors are going to get way better offers for the number two pick and Andrew Wiggins. Dwight Powell, not moving the needle. Maybe he upgrades them in the big man. Maxi Kleba definitely is an upgrade, and the 18th pick is a nice asset, but DeLon Wright and Justin Jackson – not really doing much for the Warriors on that one. Daniel Swartz says, 
Worst team next year and why? Oh, man. I did my power rankings. and or I, Yeah, I, I did my power rankings for – oh, no, that was for Giannis. That wasn't NBA power rankings. Um, I think it's the Detroit Pistons. I think they're going to be so bad, man. They have Blake Griffin. They have Derrick Rose. But I think those guys will both get moved this offseason. And then your best player is my boy, Sekou Dumbuya. And if he's your best player, I love you, Sekou, but you're not good enough to get out of the worst seed in the NBA. So I'll go with the Pistons on that one.